Greetings, you cyclone summoners. I hope you're doing well. My name is Graham, and welcome to the Crack a Pack here on LRR MTG. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Today, we're going to open this thing that I found at a store. Uh, this is the Magic the Gathering Arena Starter Kit. I bought this for $9 at a store called London Drugs, which no one outside Canada knows or cares about. And I was baffled. I was just like, what is that? What's an arena starter kit? Because it's not, it's the arena is on the computer and this is the paper carts. So what's it say on the back? Well, looking to learn some magic. Everything you need to play your first game of Magic the Gathering is right here. Gear up for magic with two 60 card decks, each with five rares, exclamation mark, and a code for you and a friend to receive them in MTG Arena. The interactive online tutorial will take you through all the basics and you'll be ready to battle in no time. So it's got two ready to play 60 card decks, a magic play guide, deck boxes, and a code to unlock both decks in arena is what it says. We were trying to look up how much these are going for online and they're certainly not going for more than $9, but I'm not sure why. And I don't know sort of really what to expect. And I was just confused and interested by the notion of an arena starter kit, like an like a, a physical paper magic onboarding product. You know, what what a neat idea. Deck boxes seem pretty good. They certainly won't take any sleeved cards, but presumably if you're this new to magic, you have yet to learn the truth of sleeving your cards. So let me look at the play guide next. Welcome to Magic the Gathering. This play guide is meant to help you continue learning about magic after your first game. There's no need to read the whole thing before you start playing. You can come back to this guide anytime to learn more. Game actions, casting spells. What are planeswalkers? There's a whole page on that. Ah, this is cool. In the book, every time they mention a keyword that has one of the little icons on Arena, they have that icon here. So that's good. Ah, you, the word you on a spell or ability refers to the current controller of that spell or ability. Me? What fun. Now these are two 60 card decks, so I'm not gonna go through every single card, but I am curious about what each deck having five rares could mean. So I mentioned Cyclone Summoner because that's the sort of the box feature card for this deck, which is at least partially blue. The other deck has a Dragon's Guard Elite, and these are both foil. So that's fine. And then let's take a look at the rest of the Cyclone Summoner deck. If I can figure out where the little rip tab is. There it is. Got there. I think, yeah, all the rares are at the top. So, okay, this is a red blue deck. So we've got the Foil Cyclone Summoner, Mind Flare. Oh, I should read Cyclone Summoner, which by the way is five blue blue for a seven seven giant wizard. When Cyclone Summoner enters the battlefield, if you cast it from your hand, return all permanents to their owner's hands, except for giants, wizards, and lands. Also in the blue red deck, we have a Mind Flayer, three blue blue for a three three horror with dominate monster. When Mind Flayer enters the battlefield, gain control of target creature for as long as you control Mind Flayer. And I'm immediately realizing that the flavor keywords like Dominate Monster that I love so much from AFR would be really confusing if this was the first time you're seeing it because you might spend the rest of your time wondering, does any other card have Dominate Monster? And the answer is no. So, oh well. Arnie Broken Brow, two and a red for a 3-3 three, three Human Berserker with Haste and Boast. For one, you may pay that after attacking to change Arnie Broken Brow's base power to one plus the greatest power among other creatures you control until end of turn. Calamity Bearer, wow. Two red red for a three four giant berserker. If a giant source you control would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double damage to that permanent or player instead. And Archmage Emeritus from Strixhaven. So two blue blue for a two two human wizard. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, draw a card. So it's like, it's a, it's a giant wizard deck. Okay, sweet. I'm not gonna go through every single card now, but just I'm gonna quickly whip through the deck for your interest. Vortex Runner, Vortex Runner, two, three, four, okay. So two Vortex Runners, a playset of Frost Trickster, two Field Research, two Wormhole Serpent, a playset of Teeter Peak Ambusher, a playset of Axe Guard Cavalry, a playset of Run Amuck, three Red Dragons, three Thundering Rebukes, four Evolving Wilds, and then a whole bunch of basic land. 
this deck seems pretty all right. And then a code. You and a friend can unlock both starter kit decks in Magic the Gathering Arena. So I guess we get two codes or the code works twice or that's, that's pretty cool. You know, I, I assume that's duplicate protected. Like I already have a lot of these rares. I have four of, so presumably this is just gems. So that wouldn't be terrible. Let's take a look at the other deck, which is at least green. It's green and the box card is Dragon's Guard Elite, which is one and a green for a 2-2 human druid with Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, put a plus one plus one counter on Dragon's Guard Elite. And for four green green, double the number of plus one plus one counters on Dragon's Guard Elite. And then the other cards in this deck, Oran Reef Ooze, two and a green for a two, two ooze. When it enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. And whenever it attacks, put a plus one, plus one counter on each attacking creature with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Crag Plate Bayloth, five green, green for a six, six beast. It can't be countered. It has hexproof, it has haste, and it has kicker for two and a green. If it was kicked, it enters the battlefield with four plus one plus one counters on it. So it's a 10 10 hexproof haste. Um, I hope the blue player gets their cyclone summoner in a real hurry. Uh, oh, black is the other color. Cleaving Reaper, three black black for a 5 3 angel berserker with flying and trample. Pay three life, return Cleaving Reaper from your graveyard to your hand. Activate this ability only if you had an Angel or Berserker enter the battlefield under your control this turn. Interesting. And Asmodeus the Archfiend. Four black black for a 6-6 six, six Devil God. With Binding Contract, if you would draw a card, exile the top card of your library face down instead. This is a very complicated card for a starter deck, Asmodeus. You can then pay three mana to draw seven cards, but then you wouldn't draw them, they go into... Exile. This is why I'm saying it's confusing. And then you can pay a black to return all cards exiled with Asmodeus the Archfiend to their owner's hand, and you lose that much life. I, it, what a cool card. I would not put that in a starter set, but I mean, a lot of these are reasonably complicated. So those are the five rares. And then the rest of the deck is three Vampire Spawn, two Spectre of the Fens, two Carfell Kennel Master, two Oblivion's Hunger, two Black Dragons, three Scurried Colonies, four Dauntless Survivor, three Murasa Brute, four Might of Murasa, and three Rabid Bite, and then four Evolving Wilds and a bunch of basic lands. And no other code, so I guess two people get to enter this code is how that works. I'm not gonna lie, I went into this with some very raised eyebrows about what on earth this could possibly be. But I mean, for the price I paid at least, which was not on sale, for nine bucks, this actually seems terrific. There's no MSRP anymore, so I don't know what Wizards was expecting this to sell for, but this was just retailing at normal at nine dollars. And if you're like me and you're you don't need any of these cards and paper and you're only really interested in the arena aspect, I mean I guess you you'll get presumably some amount of gems. If you have every one of these cards, then you're gonna get 200 gems, I guess. Otherwise, I don't know, if, if you're totally new to magic, I don't know how or why you're watching this video. <laughs> but if you are, I, I don't really have anything bad to say about this. This seems, seems pretty all right. The paper rares are worth like 350, which is fine. But I mean, yeah. All right, not bad. Arena starter kit. I didn't know what you were, and now I think you're pretty all right, though I certainly don't ever need to buy you again for myself. So, I'm here to help. <laughs> this is Graham's Consumer Reviews on Crack a Pack. Until next time, a reminder that everything we do is brought to you by you and your kind support of our Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. Check out our other stuff, too. We stream on Twitch. We have a store on our website. We have a Discord you can hang out in. Uh, and we're happy that you're here. Until then, uh, I have been Graham with James here helping out, Matt doing the edit, and you all watching. So everyone's helping. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.